You're watching BBN Tonight, presented by UK Federal Credit Union. Welcome back to BBN Tonight. The UK men's golf season is coming to its end. They have just one competition left before SEC tournament play begins on April 20th. Earlier this week, we got to talk to redshirt senior Garrett Wood to recap the team's seventh place finish their last time out and look ahead towards their end of the season. Seventh place finish in the Hootie at Bulls Bay Intercollegiate. How difficult was it to make up ground on the final day with it being so windy? Honestly, it was extremely difficult. Kind of a grind for five, six hours out there. It's one of the longest rounds I've played at golf. But we got production from Hugo. Stepped in the lineup for the first, second time this year. And uh, super proud of him. He did awesome and shot a uh, good round and provided for the team. And, you know, we beat some good teams there and finished solid. Yeah, before that wind hit, though, you had two two under par rounds, which is great. Now, <laughs> Bulls Bay looked to be a difficult course. Uh, pictures I've seen had rolling fairways, maybe even some of those greens were undulated. What did you think about that place? It's very interesting. It's, uh, not what would you you would expect in South Carolina. The fairways are about somewhat even 150 yards wide, but it's long, and when that wind gets blown out there on the marsh, and the greens get fast, it's tough. I mean, you watch your ball end up about two feet from the pin. The next thing you know, it's 40 yards over the green or <laughs> back to your feet. It's crazy. Now, the team has had some great finishes this season in recent outings. How are you feeling about the team heading down the stretch? You know, we're starting to trend right at the perfect time, right here towards the end with SECs coming up. And we kind of had a rough start to the fall, but we're really starting to all kind of click together at the same time, which is what you need in team sports. And especially with UVA and SECs coming up, we look like we're trending in the right direction right at the right time. How about you individually? I always talk about golf being that sport where, you know, it is a team sport, but you can also be a little selfish. You have to be selfish because you got to go out there and really contribute to help the team. So how do you feel like you're coming along individually? I feel like I've played pretty well, really steady. I'm good for a lot of pars. I'm normally right near the top of the field in pars, which is always good. And if I can just maintain that and throw a couple of birdies here and there, um, will be good. I mean, my game's been trending and it's good for me to just be playing well and I'll be able to provide the team and know that like I can play well enough to help the team out. And even I can go shoot two under, I still got three, four guys that can also shoot maybe five or six under just depending on the day. And um, it's good. Golf's different because it's a uh, individual, but playing as a team's hard. Sometimes ignoring that individual leaderboard is the way to go and just looking at the team leaderboard. Now you started at Xavier, transferred to Kentucky and played one season before redshirting your senior year. Just curious, what made you do that and how did it set you up for this season? Yeah, so it's actually worked out perfect to my favor. I was talking to an old friend today. So I decided to use the redshirt year. So this was the, um, so we COVID happened, canceled the season and I decided, uh, well, I'll, I'll have two years left and one year till I graduate with my finance degree. So if I redshirt, I'll then have a full another year. So I graduated and now I'm doing the full two year MBA program and I'm gonna be able to complete that and still play golf. So it's uh, it worked out perfectly. De definitely set up <laughs> right for you. That yeah. sounds great. All right, next yeah. up is that trip to Charlottesville, Virginia, and then it's the SEC championships. Uh, SEC golf, is it like other sports in the league and, and just stacked? Oh yeah, it's, it's the cream of the crop. It's the top one. Um, if you want to play college golf, you want to play in the SEC. And, you know, uh, it's hard because you're playing against some of the best teams in the country and some of the top ranked teams. But um, for us, the SEC championship is three rounds of stroke play and then match play. So when, all you got to do is get to that match play and anything can happen there. And having not played in the SEC championships last year, were you still able to go watch? Were you able to learn about the course and how you might attack it this year? Oh, yeah. Coach Craig and Coach Fuke were fortunate enough to take me on most of the trips and I was able to scout it out and um, so I got to see Sea Island and just see how awesome of a place it was and watch the guys for three or four days and it was good prep for me as well just to see it and get a little experience of it so I'm not going in completely blind. And you mentioned it earlier when we were talking but Jensen Castle this past weekend competed at Augusta in the women's amateur um, and you all watched her what was that like cheering her on? It's awesome it's uh we all sat here in the conference room turned TV on and just sat down and just, just watched. We were practicing and just came inside. And she's a perfect person having the program. And you all strive to be like her and compete like her and just be a good example like her. She's just an awesome person and great person having the program. The men's and women's, do you kind of like, you know, trade off some ideas? Do you're out there practicing from time to time? Anything like that? I say we get along 
pretty well and we practice a lot our facilities I mean, we share them so we're always out here together we all live in the same apartment complex for the most part um so it's perfect we'll be getting 21 games and putting contests out here and it's good just competing against each other well, next up for the men is a match at Virginia's Briar or Birdwood Golf Club in Charlottesville, Virginia. It's a two day event this coming Monday and Tuesday. Can't wait to see how Garrett does. <laughs> All right, more BBN tonight when we come back.